What's up guys, welcome to the channel. Today we have a new contestant in the armor world. So right behind me we have our white 2024 Toyota Tacoma and underneath this vehicle we have a bunch of new armor on it. So I'm gonna show you guys in this video all the new armor from this new company that's on this truck and we've already tested it out so we have verified that they do what they're supposed to do so let's take a look here so like i was saying this is our 24 white tacoma we also have a bronze oxide one as well this one is currently sitting on 35 inch tires on some rs2 dash s wheels these are actually our exclusive color the brushed aluminum there's also a polished one as well this is probably my favorite style of wheel and color for pretty much any truck but underneath here we have this guy right here this is the night top logo this is their brand new skid plate and as you can tell a couple of dings um, that we have already used this and put it to the test so very different styling these diamond cutout holes um, to add a little bit of the touch and then we got flared sized for added protection that bend in the front there for you know just to um, divert the air and add some styling points instead of just having a straight cut off section right there so this is the front one here and then we have the transmission skid and then we have the tk skid so what's cool about this one is it doesn't matter which tacoma trim level you have whether it be an sr5 sr td off-road which is what we have sport or trail hunter or the pro this will fit all of them and this back section is what allows the Trail Hunter and the TRD Pro to be compatible with these skits. So here is a view from the driver's side door to show you that section. So if you don't have a Trail Hunter hybrid or a TRD Pro, you'll have this slight overhang, which is completely fine because it is protecting the T-case. But if you do have a Trail Hunter Hybrid or TRD Pro, there's going to be these two holes right there that will bolt into this rear section that um, your hybrid stuff is at. And we actually, we are currently working on a TRD Pro right over there. That's a TRD Pro Tundra that we are doing a full build on. You will see a video on that Tundra because it's going from a stock TRD Pro to having full bumpers, kings, wheels, tires, all of it. Um, but back to over here. Since we're down here, we, I wanna show you, this is our new exhaust here. So this is for the long bed, it'll dump right here. It'll come up. This is a full cat back, so it goes all the way over there into the Calais converter, which since we're on this topic, these new 24 Tacomas, you do not need catalytic converter shields just because the cats are actually hidden. So way up there is the catalytic converter itself. So if a thief try to actually take that, they need to reach all the way up into your engine and do it from the other side. There's no way of stealing that from down here. But this is where our cab bag and exhaust will bolt into, so very accessible. Unbolt your factory one and bolt in ours. So it'll go all the way back there. Now out here we have these guys right here. So this is another night top product. So this is their rock sliders and you can see here how well designed these sliders are they follow that body to almost a tip i don't think you can really fill this section in without really 
making this part really thin and then at that point it's not really going to protect anything. So they went as far as they can. And then this is the design here. This is the top plate. And then I really like how these are tubeless. So there's no tubes on this. This is all steel formed, welded, and cleaned up to give you what you see here. So that is like almost like a 45 degree angle. So you get that really nice high clearance from a, a ang an angled slider while still having a flat top for when you are trying to get in and out of the vehicle, um, whether that be for you or a passenger who is a little bit shorter. But these are amazing. This is actually a prototype version, so it is a little bit tighter to the body than the production one. The production one will be about a quarter inch lower than what you see here, just in case you do come down on this pretty hard and if it does come up at all, you're not going to damage anything in here. So um, I think about an eighth inch or so down from where you guys are seeing it now. But the front has that same design. It like tapers off to come as far as possible um, without, you know, really, really getting thin out here. So that's this one. We've definitely put them to the test already. Um, right here, all along pretty much the edge of that. And they held up really well. We look at this part too, we haven't even crushed this section here. So we're actually going to make a skid for that. And then probably the shock as well. And our poor fuel tank Took a beating and you see how it's kind of indented right there and some of our bolts are actually sitting sideways. You can see right there, it's like, it's supposed to be straight down, but those are angled. And then that guy right there is angled. And then on the driver's side, this is the side that took a lot of the beating. So even on the outer sections, pushing away so that we're protecting the doors. So we got, that's where it took a hit. This side didn't take it as bad as the other side, but we definitely hit it just a little bit. So these are steel. The skids are actually aluminum, so if you, scratch, if you scratch and bend those, it isn't going to rust. But this one, being that it might, you know, have to hold the entire weight of the vehicle, these are gonna have to be steel. So if you get anything like this, just like any sliders, just spray with a little bit of um, paint or um, rust-oleum after you clean up the rust, of course, and then they'll back to be back to as good as new. And then back here is something I literally just installed five minutes ago, and it took about five minutes. These are the night top recovery points. So they do have a chamfered edge, so if you wanted to, you could use a soft shackle to use this as a recovery point or to pull somebody behind you out. And these are reinforced into the frame. So this thick piece right here, it goes through that entire piece, comes out this side and gives that the strength you need to kind of use that to pull. And the other really cool thing that I like about these is that it provides a lot of protection. So. Toyota was very smart for adding these in because a lot of the third gen Tacomas, a lot of the bumper caps, the rear bumper caps were popping off when they come over a rock because there was no frame that was way back here. So that adds some protection to the 2024 Tacoma as well as these ones. So when you do come over a boulder or something, you're gonna hit this before hitting this and causing some actual damage to these because these are expensive you gotta get sensors you gotta get a painting and then it's just a pain where if you were to damage these just spray some touch of paint and you'll be good so they come in a red they also come in a black color as well so we opted for the red just to match with the red 
tail lights and they add some styling points to it as well. Okay guys, that is going to be it for this video. If you guys wanna check out any of their products, we'll have it down in the description. You can also check them out and purchase them at rightfortacos.com. We will most likely be stocking some of these just because we like them so much and they're super easy to install. Like the skid plates, all factory hardware. There's rear recovery points, all factory hardware. And then the, well, no, factory holes. And then the slider, same thing, all factory holes. You don't have to do any modifications. Everything is bolt on, ready to go, super easy. And they actually do their job and protect the underside of the truck. But that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and we'll see you guys next time.